Hello everyone, this is Brenniger. I made another trip to my local pet store today and took a look at the blue, green, and white female betta. And I also looked in the guppy tank. I'm currently trying something a little different in an attempt to culture infusoria I have added lettuce leaves and algae wafers to the culture in hopes that that will help to cultivate infusoria I feed those to my Daphnia and from what I've read beta splendens once the fry absorb the yolk sac, they require infusoria as a first food until they're big enough to consume brine shrimp nuclei. I saw that all of the guppies had been sold, but they didn't look too healthy when I looked at them Wednesday, so I didn't get any. So I have convinced my local pet store manager to order some fancy female guppy females and keep them in a bucket with an air stone until I can come pick them up because I don't want them to catch any disease from the system and although I currently have probably 50 guppies it's necessary to get new stock to prevent inbreeding so that's the plan for this 10 gallon aquarium that I set up this week with used aquarium water and used media and the hang on the back filter and the gravel is also from the 120 gallon tank so there shouldn't be any problem with ammonia spikes. So hopefully Tuesday I'll pick up some new stock. I've ordered four. Unfortunately he's not able to spe specify half black which is what I'd like to get. So I'll just have to take whatever comes in the assortment and hopefully after some time in quarantine, I'll probably shoot for maybe not a month, but definitely more than a couple of weeks of quarantine before I mix them with my stock to be absolutely sure that they don't carry any disease. Here is my fry starter tank. Today I removed at least half a dozen female guppies that are gender distinguishable to the guppy tank and I still have four black molly fry well juveniles and so far no sign of any gonopodia I hope that at least one of them will be a male, not that I intend to breed them, but it is nice to have both genders represented. So hopefully I'll come up with well less than half males is always the case, but I'm anxious to see how these guppies that are male color up. Perhaps some of them have been sired by the prize male. This is my guppy tank. Firstly, I'd like to mention this Valisonera gigantea, also known as Jungle Val. I transferred it to the guppy tank and added fluorite substrate and put a root tab nearby in the substrate. 
I also added drive liquid fertilizer to help with the move. So far I don't see any melting. I'm hoping that this plant will take off now that the reason I removed it from the 75 gallon is that the dwarf Sagittaria releases the lalo chemicals into the water column that are harmful to jungle val and vice versa. So hopefully by separating these species into separate tanks it'll give them a better chance. Now there is the prize male. He is in here with lots and lots of females. I'm hoping to carry on this line of the uh, half black blue coloration with the gold sheen on the back. I'll give you a better view of the tank. I removed three fry from the tank yesterday and already I see that there are a few more there. So I'm removing them into the fry tank and removing females as they develop and once they get some size on them I'll remove the males to the bedroom tank and then as they color up I'll move the males that don't match to the 75 and hopefully the bedroom tank will soon have a similar group of male guppies and perhaps some young black mollies and make a terrific biotope for my bedroom.